tonight, okay? So enjoy your lunch. Thanks for being with us this morning, and we look forward to having you with us this afternoon. My, uh, I'm here because my club, the Kanawha Kiwanis, has got a team coming in this morning, and this is the kind of stuff we do, helping people help themselves. It's a good idea, um, and I think it's something the community can use in this area, and um, it's makes you feel good. The owner of my business uh, lives up here in Richmond, and he asked me if I'd like to come up here and help, and I said, gladly, yes. It's a good time, it's a good cause for all the kids in the neighborhood. So we're lo really looking forward to getting it all done. My son goes here to Mary Mumford, and I think it's a really great project. This is the, uh, the primary school that serves my neighborhood, and when I saw the, the signs, uh, and a little boy came to my door by the name of Henry, whom I'd never met, and asked me to sign up, I, I signed up. It's a beautiful day and it's for a good cause, so we're having fun. I've got one daughter, 11, and uh, she wishes she had a tree for it like this is going to be. We're, we're here from uh, Trinity Episcopal School, the uh, student government at Trinity. Um, decided to get a group over here, and uh, there are about 15, 15 to 20 of us over here. We've been here since 7.30, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, hauling rocks and mulch. And That'll work. Yeah. It's been fun there. It's been good, because you actually see the results, and uh, got a lot of fun stuff. On. Robert Weathers and Associates is a group out of Ithaca, New York that um, is in the playground business. Um, the whole concept is bringing community together to build dream playgrounds, uh, fantasy lands, if you will, for children. The whole concept, though, is that the children are the ones that design the playgrounds because, after all, as, as Leathers people say, they're the ones that are going to play on it. <laughs> We needed to raise over $80,000 for this project uh, because there was just certain materials that couldn't be donated. We try to get as many things donated, um, but lumber, for instance, the, some of the Robert Leathers um, requirements are so specific because of their safety regulations that you just can't get them um, donated. So that's why we had to raise a lot of money. So you do all this organization, you try to get as many volunteers. We were looking for 500 volunteers a day to build this playground. And then it all comes together for construction week, and that's where we are now. We're building it. And it's so fun to see. Well, Leather's arrived, and she started by handing out stakes to everybody and said, okay, here's a piece of paper. They had measurements on them. None of us knew what we were doing. That just goes to show everybody can do it. And we all sat down and started putting all the measurements, not knowing what they were going to be for. And when that was done, we walked over, we took a tape measure, and we measured each line and row where all the stakes are now being dug up um, across where the playground will be built. And then this morning, bright and early at 7.30 a.m., all the volunteers showed up. The boom auger truck started at 8, and we started moving our lumber around and setting up our prefab, and the leathers crew started putting people to work and they take shifts of different people and skilled and semi-skilled workers and as you can see everybody's got a job there's a job for everyone want anyone under 10 out on the construction site for safety reasons but the kids are working on the sanding soaping the screws it's very important to get the screws soaked well lubricated so that when they start putting them in because there, there will be thousands and thousands of screws going in the soap them makes them easier to go in so the kids are doing that and they're also washing the tires that will be part wait a minute <laughs> that will be part of the um, so we have a bouncy car and a um, tire swing and a bucking bronco, all that are made out of tires. So the kids are washing those, making sure they're good and clean. Uh, yes. Can you be very careful? Put your blocks down here. They're, they're all so anxious to help in any way that they can, and I think some of them are a little disappointed that they can't be out there working, but... Um, most of them do understand that for safety reasons, it just, it, it can't be done. Here, 
in this area, they're putting together the sound wall, and you see the points, which are going to be the tips of the towers, the castle towers. And then out in this area, there's one pile over here of what looks like, almost like crates, the little boxes. Those are steps for the shaky step. And what, once they put those together, it'll be a series of steps that move as you walk on them. Um, the men up on this tall, very tall area here are working on the platform to the circular side, that slide. That will be the highest point on the playground. Um, so you can see they're, they're putting in some of the, the main work, um, the, the main platforms and some of the main posts and rails that will, will eventually be all of these different components. Um, they're, these are all the same size. The people over here are working in an area that will be part of a maze, and um, again, it'll be a series of platforms and, and walkways that will just go back and forth and, and through what, what we're calling a funhouse maze. We'll have the, some of the kids putting together drawings and pictures that will go up on the walls in there. That's what makes it a fun house. My name is Alex Slusher, and I am, I guess, the artist in charge of all the artwork on the playground. And um, right now, They've got a pirate ship out there, and they wanted a pirate painted, so I'm doing a Captain Hook. And then we're going to be going out and painting um, a gingerbread house, and I'm going to be doing a wall with cutouts of the Wizard of Oz where the kids can put their faces in and get pictures taken. And um, they're doing some British soldiers, you know, like the changing of the guard, and they're going to do a teepee and a dragon. There's just a lot of stuff to be painted. Well, we have a time capsule. Uh, all the classes at school, here at school have put something in. They've put videotapes, uh, cassettes, class pictures, poems, drawings, all kinds of things. We also have a few mementos from uh, the construction crew out here, including a uh, Ruffin and Payne nail belt and the IBEW Local 666 pencil. So a little bit of, of everything in here. And one of the Out of Hands t-shirts. But some mementos from 1994 that we'll dig up in a hundred years or so. It's going to go in this hole right here. So there, this is going to be buried up to about the middle of the tires. Our playground. We let you go walk. 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 I don't think people know what kind of project this is, the magnitude of it. And I think that once they drive by here and they say they're gonna go, wow, this is my child is gonna be able to play on this. The main thing, and like I said, is that that feeling of ownership. And I think that's what I love about this concept, is that the children, when they're building and they're out there soaping and um, soaping the screws and washing tires, that they're going to feel like they've done something for this playground. They, they were a part of it. Well, I think it's really nice, and it brings the community together, and everybody from the neighborhood comes and plays, and people, like parents, get to talk and have fun. And I just think what they did was really great. I like all of it. It's really fun. And I think this will be a really fun playground for all the kids to come and the parents to come and have fun with the kids. Take me out to the playground. No, I'm ready to this.